A quiet look over Lake Erie tonight. However, in just a few weeks, we'll be experiencing some thunder on the Buffalo waterfront. The annual air show that usually lands in Niagara Falls will now make itself at home along the Buffalo waterfront. That's right, but it comes with a price. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Buehler live along the waterfront tonight with more. Good evening, Jeff and Ashley. It couldn't be a more gorgeous day here in Buffalo at the Outer Harbor. In fact, above me, there's some beautiful kites flying in the wind. It really feels like things are returning back to normal. And for the first time in Buffalo, a big show will have your eyes straight up to the skies. The roar, the engines, the excitement. It's all coming to the waterfront this summer. Headline by the uh United States Navy Blue Angels, it's their 75th anniversary, and they're flying the brand new Super Hornet, which is 33% louder, faster, and bigger than the old Hornet they did fly. The show, which usually takes place at the Niagara Falls Air Force Base, is unable to operate at that space due to COVID restrictions. Organizers say bringing this exhilarating event to the waterfront will open up new doors and opportunities. Buffalo is one of the only cities on the Great Lakes that doesn't have an air show annually, uh, from Toronto, Cleveland, Milwaukee, Chicago. The show will take place Father's Day weekend, June 19th and 20th. There will be three ticket options. A drive through option at $149 for a five-person vehicle, $200 for an eight-person vehicle, and VIP tickets starting at $99 per person. A portion of the proceeds go to the Save the Sullivans campaign. As you know, she's a 78-year-old Fletcher-class destroyer who's had some problems with her hull. And we are in the process of making those repairs, and this will go a long way in helping uh, to correct those measures. Organizers say the Coast Guard will be blocking off a section of the water to boaters. The planes will be taking off from the Niagara Falls Air Force Base and heading downtown. They're not doing any aerobatic maneuvers until they get down here to Buffalo. So there will be about 1,300 tickets for people to individually come and sit here at the Outer Harbor and then about space for 1,000 cars. Organizers say if this event is successful this year, it will be a benchmark for years to come. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. We have all of the ticket information right now on our website, WKBW.com. Reporting live at the Outer Harbor tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.